Today we're gonna to be going over one of my absolute favorite techniques. Now this is something that I learned because I needed a way to counter people rolling up into me from half guard and threatening me with all kinds of dangerous techniques. Now, if somebody just lays on their back when you have, are in half guard top, it's not a big deal because you can just put pressure into them, make sure you get your underhook and start working your passing game. But if they're aggressing on you and they're threatening either sweeps or there's even tricky submissions that they could try and feed from there, then you really have to address it. And you need to give them a reason why they can't come up into you and instead you need to go to them. So we're gonna be taking a look at the Japanese next time today. So. so that one's a quick tap. It comes from, just like uh, some other locks like this, some Darces, his leg is now trapped. Now, the tricky part here, and the reason it's so successful and you'll see it so often is because he doesn't realize that he's trapped, right? He's locking up half guard on me, but it's a bit like um, Rorschach and Watchmen, right? I'm not locked in here with you, you're locked in here with me. So I've got him trapped just where I want. When he rolls up into me, I cannot wait for him to get set up where he wants, deep, deep, deep on that underhook. I really need to, as soon as he comes up, meet him. I'm dropping my shoulder, cutting him off, stopping him from going any further, and I'm gonna try and put my thumb behind his head. My other hand goes right over the top, and I've got my gable grip. There's nothing fancy about this grip, and unlike a lot of darces from here, I don't have to ratchet it up anymore. I don't have to do any more work. Even if he's somewhat strong with his neck, he's not getting out. I've got him. Some of you might know this is the bolt cutter position. All right, I'm still kind of sitting on his leg. Now, all I'm gonna to do to finish this submission is I'm going to dive myself over so that my belly is on the back of his head. From there, I'm just going to arch my back and kind of pull with my legs, making sure that his legs are trapped in there. I don't wanna let him go. So here's what that looks like. I slide over the top. You may see I've still got his legs hooked and I might even figure four here. All I'm gonna to do to finish is I'm gonna expand my belly and pull my hands in so my back arches and it is a quick tap. It's pretty uncomfortable, right? Oh yeah. Should they panic, panic, panic and get their leg out, that's okay. Make sure you keep that grip. So even should he realize he's in trouble and he starts escaping that leg, I'm gonna keep my hands connected, come back up and I'm using my grip to keep him here. Now watch. Even should he be like, he's not gonna let me have that leg. I can just step over the top and grab the top leg. I go back to it and that tap is right there again. So play with this, do it slowly when you're starting out with it and just feeling it out because your training partner without knowing might wedge their jaw in there and turn this into a crank. So be nice and gentle with each other. But I know you're gonna love this. this, is a favorite of mine, and see if you don't start having people let you pass their half guard a little more often. Well, have fun with that, and uh, remember to like and subscribe. If you like this video, think about sharing it. Uh, and also make sure to say something in the comments, uh, whether you like this move, maybe you don't like this move, or if you have questions about its application or anything along those lines. We really wanna start discussions yeah. in the uh, comment section, so make sure that you're giving us some feedback and maybe tell us uh, how we can even do better videos, all right? Thank you guys, I appreciate you watching.